If you've ever been on the hiring committee, you understand that it's oftentimes difficult to determine who is the best candidate for the job. This is Wes Hickey, director of the UT Tyler School of Education, and what we're going to talk about today is the concept of getting the job versus doing the job. Now, we look at two different kinds of people, and research has shown us that the individuals who oftentimes do best in an interview are oftentimes very self-centered. Uh, obviously, the uh, interview process requires you to talk about yourself, brag on yourself a little bit, but when we find out that they actually get the job, many of these individuals, if they can't move outside of themselves and focus on others, have a very difficult job time in the job. What we look at here is that if you are kind of a narcissistic leader or a narcissistic teacher, is that you're very tuned inward and not very reflective, and you don't really listen to feedback. And these are things that prevent growth once you get in the job and oftentimes prevent or hinder effectiveness in the job. However, if you are more of a humble leader, you reflect upon your actions and behaviors, uh, you have this servant-oriented mindset, then you become a teacher or a leader that is able to have more of an impact because you are outwardly focused and you're really concerned about what uh, others are doing and how you can help them be successful as well. So what do we do? First of all, be aware that a lot of times the individuals that come in and are really good about talking about themselves and bragging on themselves may not always be the best person for the job. And if we are doing the interviewing or if we're doing, if we're the interviewee, then what we want to do is make sure that we can turn on that self-centered aspect to really be able to sell ourselves in that committee but ultimately understand that once we get the job, we have to be more servant oriented. We have to be more reflective and be able to work to make other people successful as well. And here at UT Tyler, let us know what we can do and remember to inspire and educate, be an architect of human potential.